You're welcome to Joy Geeks with me, Aparna Ganesh. On this channel, I create beauty and wellness videos week after week. In this video, I'm taking you through Proate Lip Crayons. They are very inexpensive, but are they any good? If you'd like to know my thoughts, please keep watching. I am very, very excited to bring this brand to you. I bought this from Beauty Palace. It's a Beauty Palace in-house brand. So they've had these lipsticks for a while, but it wasn't available online earlier. But now it is. So I thought this is a great video to do. I must do it for you guys. All the details of the shades and the price and the link, everything will be listed below in the description box. The best thing about shopping at Beauty Palace is that A, you get all the brands in one place and also the girls there they're very friendly, they are very helpful and it is always on some discount or the other. On special days they have more discounts so why not we'll just get it from there. I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you would like to jump into the swatch right now. These crayons look like any other crayons, they are black in colour but they have a color-coded bottom and a top. Their shade name is written very well on the side. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, it is 2.8 grams. It's made in Germany. It says it's manufactured by Schwann Cosmetics. It's made in Germany. A decent amount of nudes and just a decent amount of orange, reds and pinks. It's priced at 450, but you can get amazing sales at various places. I actually got these lipsticks 50% off during Diwali and that's like a huge off. Also saw it on Flipkart a few days ago for 35% off. I will place the links below and probably you should look out for uh, you know when the sales happen. Let's see the claims of this lipstick. This is Pro Arte. This is Pro Art. This is Pro Art. I'm gonna call it Pro Art now. Uh, this is Pro Art Lip Crayons. They have 10 shades, which is ultra smooth and weightless texture. I agree, it's very smooth. Satin sheen finishing, yes, it's not completely matte. It has that little satin sheen finish. High pigmentation with high coverage effect. I agree. Long lasting and waterproof. I haven't checked the waterproof bit, but it is long lasting. Paraben free, superb, no feathering, I agree. The happiest thing I was when I read this, dermatologically tested and approved. I'm happy reading that because I'm generally very skeptical to try out products which are very inexpensive because I think that to get a decent quality product that is directly going on my skin, there must be some cost to it. Doesn't mean that all the expensive products are way better than the ones which are a little inexpensive but something which is really cheap like a 100 rupee lipstick would scare me probably to you know try it on. So I wouldn't venture into that because maybe it's safe, but what if it's not? You know, it's straight going on to my skin. So I would be careful. There is no sharpener available, but I just sharpened it with a random sharpener that I had and it's perfectly fine. Let me check if this transfers. I'm sure it will. It, they haven't claimed for it to be transfer proof anyway, but I just wanted to show you guys. A lot of you ask me to do lip swatches in natural light. So that's what I'm doing. I'm here sitting by my children's bedroom, uh, a window side, so that you know I can uh, show you some swatches in daylight like you guys asked for. Keep watching. <laughs> have been slightly more pigmented I think it's a wee bit patchy just a wee bit but it is patchy this 
This says pinkalicious but it's totally orange. Proatia, why? When this is such an orange color, why have you called it pinkalicious? You could have called it orangelicious. Orangelicious. Yeah. I think this is a bit of a tough color to crack because it doesn't seem uniform in its application. You know, across various lip crayons when I have tried. so wonderful uh, but some of the shades like this one I can see it settling into my fine line and also because I've pressed in a few times it's become very patchy this is what I mean this is a beautiful finish. This is a beautiful shade. I love this. Nothing's happening with this. This is not setting in the fine line. This is not, uh, you know, uh, getting patchy with, um, you know, me pressing the lips. Nothing. It's perfectly fine. And I love this particular formula. So, um, I guess the formula is different with different colors. And I get it. You got to be careful which shade you're picking up. Although it's a dark pink and stuff, it's not smudging when I'm pressing in my lip or it's not uh, settling into my fine line. So this is perfectly fine. as expected if you are a lipstick lover and you want to see a lot more lip swatches I will place a link above of all the lip swatches as a whole playlist please do have a look if I need to score this lipstick after having used it and really tried out all the shades a it has only 10 shades uh, maybe it should come up with more and uh, I like most of the shades only I think two or three were patchy uh, but the price is unbeatable. It's only 450. I think it gets a huge uh, bonus for that. I think I'd have to rate it at least 7.5. It's really inexpensive and it's tested and approved. So big thumbs up to that. I wish Proart luck because I wish they come out with a lot more products because Beauty Palace is the hub of makeup and when they come up with products, well, we've got to support it. I hope you like this video with this natural sunlight. Let me know. Let me know what you feel about these lipsticks and uh, what are your favorite shades. You know what you got to do if you like this video. Do hit on the like button. Like I mentioned, this channel is about makeup and wellness. So please do hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so that you get always notified for all the future posts. Yeah. See you.